Hi everyone, my name is CT. In today's video, we're going to try to tackle the project to install the smart garage control. Uh, I found this product online and then I purchased it and then I wanted to install this uh, in my garage. The reason that I'm doing this is because I found myself wondering if I have left my garage door open and I actually did that. I left my garage door open throughout the night and or when I was away. So I wanted to be able to check the status of my garage or maybe close it if I'm away and then I found out that my garage door was open. So I'm going to try to install this product and then see if that's going to help me uh, to control my garage and check the status of my garage from the distance. Alright, we'll see how we're going to install it together. So here, here are what we need today. One is the smart garage control from the Chamberlain. Uh, the model is MyQ. I'm going to put the link to uh, where I purchased from Amazon. Uh, that box contains the hub, power cord to power the hub, garage sensor, and some installation materials. Then you need to provide uh, some of the tools to use to install these uh, products. You can need to have a drill and uh, a drill bit that is a size of 530 second uh, goggle to protect your eyes when you're drilling uh, on a wall or ceiling pen just to mark up where you're going to drill and then the most important thing is the ladder to be able to to allow you to be able to reach the, up the ceiling in, the, in your garage so first you need to install uh, myq apps on your phone and once installed open up your myq app and just follow the instruction getting start then you need to sign up for your account. So once the registration is completed, come back to the app, sign into your account, and then it's going to ask you to choose a device that you're going to install. Then make sure that you have everything here on the screen. Then it's going to ask you to power up your hub. It's blinking blue. Click next. So now it found a device. So pairing request, pair, and then select Wi-Fi. So once you type in your password, click done. Now it's connected and you have green light, just like in the picture. Next. Now we're going to move on to the garage sensor. So remove a tab. Test door sensor by pressing the button. Yep. Press the button to pair. Now everything is paired. So we have this hub and sensor pair. The next step is to mount the garage door sensor on the garage door panel. Uh, it comes with the tape on the back that you can use to tape it on the garage door. So the instruction suggests us to mount it on one other side of the garage on the top panel. So I'm going to mount it on this side of the garage and I just need to make sure to clean up all the dust. and. Place this garage door sensor uh, on there for about 30 seconds just to make sure that the tape stays. Okay, the next step is just follow the instructions provided on you on the app. And once you're gonna get to the step that is going to ask you for the model of the garage door opener that you have, select the model, and then it's gonna take you to a screen that shows the different colors of the learn buttons behind your garage door opener. Select the uh, co the color that is uh, that you have behind your garage door opener. Then just follow the steps, and it's going to ask you to uh, learn, and it's going to tell you the, to follow step how to uh, use the learn button. Just follow the steps. So once the garage door is learned, 
then it's going to ask you to name your garage door. And once you name your garage door, you can tap next. Now, this is the last part. Is uh, now it's going to be physical, so you're going to have to actually uh, drill a hole and install a uh, hub on your ceiling. So what I do different here is that uh, I am able to locate a stud that I can install this hub on the stud. I'm just going to drill a smaller hole into the stud, stud and use a screw to uh, hold the bracket. So. Okay, now once I have the uh, mounting plate uh, in, uh, screwed it on the ceiling, then I can just uh, install the top to the mounting plate. And now I have the smart garage control installed. Okay, now it's time to test that everything is working. So what you, can, what you can do is open up your MyQ app that you just installed. Then it should show the information that if your car is, uh, the garage door is open or closed. Right now it's currently open for two minutes. So if I tap on this button in the center, the garage door should be closing. And then once the hub receives signal, you can see that the hub will be Beep, beeping to indicate that it received a signal across the garage. And then we see that the garage is now closed. That should show the status accordingly, which is now say closed. And it has a countdown clock to show you how long has it been closed. Now if I tap again this button, now it should open the garage. So now you have it. This is a smart garage control by Shim. The model is MyQ. Alright, thank you for watching.